Starlink Report. This is the Starlink Report. The Starlink Report for February 14th, 2022. I'm Huey Poplock. Please like this video and subscribe to our network. Recent Starlink launches. There was a Starlink launch on January 6th and another on January 18th this year and then another on February 3rd but the one on February 3rd the satellites were affected by a geomagnetic storm which we're going to talk about in just a moment and there is another liftoff scheduled for February 20th customer deliveries for SpaceX's satellite internet system Starlink have significantly slowed down over the past three months Starlink is now serving over 145,000 users across the globe in 25 countries and regions. The number may sound like a lot, but as CNBC notes, this means that the company only has added around 5,000 new subscribers since early November, when the user count for Starlink reached 140,000. SpaceX was adding about 10,000 subscribers each month prior to November. The delivery slowdown is likely due to ongoing supply chain issues. The global chip shortage was preventing it from fulfilling customer orders. Also, extreme winter weather and COVID staffing issues are impacting FedEx and may result in delivery delays. SpaceX has lost 40 Starlink satellites. 40 Starlink satellites will burn up in a spectacular fireball and get destroyed in the Earth's atmosphere, ending their brief lives after being launched on February 3rd. Each Starlink satellite is roughly the size of a coffee table and weighs 500 pounds. They have a reflective panel to draw solar energy from the sun, and they maneuver in space by firing thrusters powered by krypton gas. The loss is a rare failure for SpaceX, which launches successful missions as a matter of routine. So what went wrong this time, and how will it affect Starlink users? On Thursday, February 3rd, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched 49 Starlink satellites. Unfortunately, one day later, the satellites came into contact with a geomagnetic storm. The storm, caused by explosions on the sun's surface, heated the Earth's upper atmosphere and increased air resistance by up to 50% more than usual. Despite the efforts by SpaceX to maneuver the satellites away from the storm and above the Earth's atmosphere into low Earth orbit, 40 of the satellites failed to overcome the increased air resistance and raise their orbits. They fell back into the Earth's atmosphere, where they will eventually burn up. This unique situation demonstrates the great lengths that Starlink team has gone to ensure the system is on the leading edge of on-orbit debris mitigation, the company added. Although SpaceX has deployed 2,000 Starlink satellites, they are just not enough. The Starlink speeds have slowed down due to too many customers and too few satellites. The more customers Starlink adds, the slower the speeds will get. This will continue to be the case until Starlink launches more satellites to increase capacity. Therefore, losing 40 satellites only makes the problem worse. Although the loss of 40 Starlink satellites is a blow to SpaceX, it's just a small bump in the road and the price of doing business in space. At times, unpredictable, uncontrollable things will happen. Starlink customers will have to wait a little longer for the increased capacity SpaceX is aiming to deliver, along with the millions of new customers waiting patiently for their chance to use the service. SpaceX has revealed a new tier for its Starlink satellite internet service. It's called Starlink Premium and offers speeds between 150 and 500 megabits with 20 to 40 milliseconds of latency, up from 50 to 250 megabits per second with the same latency. Upload speeds are also up 
from 10 to 20 megabits per second on the standard plan to 20 to 40 megabits per second on the premium. For a performance boost of roughly double, you'll pay five times more, however. Starlink Premium will cost $500 a month compared to $99 per month for the standard plan. You'll also pay $2,500 for the antenna and other hardware compared to $499 for the base plan and will need to leave a $500 deposit to reserve the premium dish. SpaceX said the new service will work better in extreme weather conditions and customers will get priority 24-7 support. It's likely to be the only high-speed internet option available in many remote places where the extra weatherproofing could come in handy. SpaceX revealed that Starship could be ready to launch Starlink Gen 2 system satellites as early as next month, March. The next generation satellites are part of SpaceX's Starlink constellation that aims to provide high-speed broadband internet service globally. Currently, the Starlink satellites are launched in batches of up to 60 atop a Falcon 9 rocket. The Starship launch vehicle will be capable of deploying up to 400 Starlink satellites during a single launch, which will enable SpaceX to build the Constellation at a much faster rate to rapidly expand internet service coverage. This has been the Starlink Report. For February 14, 2022, I'm Huey Poplock.